Welcome to Cat Chat alongside Bryce Burge. I'm Pete Francis. And Saturday was senior day for the NMU football team against Indianapolis. So let's go right to the highlights. NMU looking for their first winning season since 2002. And the Wildcats would strike first with a 21-yard touchdown pass from Carter Kopak to Blake Kreider. 7-0 Cats. The Wildcats kept it going in the second as Kopak hit Zach Nichols to extend the lead to 14. Then just before the end of the half, John Lau with the surprise onside kick and it's recovered by Eric Wells and the Cats get another chance to score before the break. And score they do as Kopak finds Nichols once again, 21-0 NMU at the half. The Wildcat defense keeps the momentum going in the third as junior Michelle picks off Rob Doyle and takes it to the house, 28-zip Northern Michigan. After an Indy TD, NMU comes right back on the ground with a three-yard Mark Boussois run to make it 34-7. And in the fourth, the Cats keep it on the ground with Boussois from seven yards out, his last carry as a Wildcat, and it goes for six. NMU wins on senior day, 41-14, and we spoke with some of the seniors after the game. You know, it's been a great career here with the guys I've played with. Um, you know, wins and losses don't really, um, sh you know, show that we were successful, but in my mind it was a success, ending on a, a winning note, and uh, it's going to be tough to walk out of here for the last time, but it's, it's been real. This was the team's first winning season in seven years. How important was it to, for you to be a part of that? It was a huge, I mean, it's a lot that we can look back on. I mean, obviously our expectations are higher than six and four, um, but you look at a lot of positives. We were ranked for the first time, you know, I think ever in our school history. Um, you know, we beat two ranked opponents. Um, we had statistically one of the better defenses in the league, um, you know, from my point of view. So, you know, there's a lot of things we can be proud of as well as six and four and having that winning season. I couldn't ask for a better way to go out with a win, a, a couple touchdowns, and this is my whole family here. It means a lot to have them all here. What was it like in the first half, that one possession, it seemed every single play the ball was going to you? I got, I got a little winded, but it was, it was a good feeling. I felt great, and uh, I'm grateful that the coach called my number that many times for my last game. How important is it to you to be a part of this winning season? Uh, it's really important. I, words can't describe it. Uh, it means a lot, and I'm happy that I could be part of the, the team that turned everything around. A lot of uh, memories, a lot of the times that I spent with the guys, uh, some of the friendships that I made, uh, some of the times I spent on the field, everything, everything's just kind of going through my head right now, I'm trying to soak it up, just live it up, um, and trying to enjoy the moment. In this senior class, this time at Northern, this is the first winning season you guys had. How big was that? Uh, it's something special. Uh, I mean, uh, as obviously we all had the dreams of making the playoffs and winning GLIAC titles and things of that sort. But uh, even without doing that, going in six and four, with last year's team being two and eight, we did something special here, and we realized that uh, we're just the building block. You know, the Michigans, uh, they're going to be a team to reckon with in the future, and I think that we started that out, and now they know that they can play, and they, they tasted a bit of what winning feels like. So I'm just honored to be that team that, that – that could get them over the winning hump, and now hopefully they can keep it going. 16 tackles today, that's a heck of a way to go out. Yeah, uh, no better way to go out. I feel like I played one of my better games for sure in my career. Um, again, it's just, it's been an absolute honor. Uh, I think God's blessed me, uh, especially with the way he allowed me to play today. He, he let me go out on the best, the best terms I could ever go out on, and I thank him so much for that. So. Uh, it's, it's been an honor to play here. I love my coaches. I love my teammates. It just feels good to go out on a good, good high note with a victory and everything like that. Right now, the realization that next fall, I'm going to be probably in the stands, you know, finishing up my last semester here and, not wa and watching instead of uh, watching instead of playing, is that, that, that's not going to hit until later. By the way, that's Antonio Wallace yelling in the background. Um, but, you know, so my emotion right now is just happy. You know, I have you know, an older brother, an older sister, that are able to be with me to come to this game and able, we're able to hang out later and after the game. And so, you know, that's something that I'm looking forward to. You know, so, you know, my family and whatnot, I'm just going to, I'm just going to enjoy my time with them and keep, and uh, I'm just going to enjoy my time with my family members that are up here. They say, they're going to say the night. You no, know, two siblings, you know, we're going to go out, have, my two siblings, we're going to go out and have some fun. It's going to be, it's going to be a great time, so. How important was it to you to help give Northern their first winning season in seven years? 
um, it was a very important season, you know. Um, you know, I know, we, like, I've been telling some of the guys, and, like, what my final speech in the locker room, it was, it was, um, like, three weeks ago, it was looking, you know, let alone a winning season. You're talking playoffs, talking about possibility of league championships. And, you know, that, that's something that, you know, losing three in a row that we lost. But at the same time, like, you're right, you know, now we have a winning season in seven years, you know, and to, you know, to turn that around in, in one year, and, yeah, six and four isn't the greatest record. You know, you always want to win more. But, like I said earlier, too, you know, being ranked in the nation, for instance, is something that if you would have told a lot of fans, you would have told some of the guys on the team, you know, that you will be ranked in the nation going into week seven, our guys would have went, really? You think? Like, that means we're, you know, five and one, six and oh already. And so, I mean, yeah, I mean, you, you get your hopes up. And, yeah, you want to, you want it to, we want it to be, you know, eight and two, something like that, seven and three. But that didn't happen. But at the same time, you know, I, we did help turn it around. That's something I'm, gonna be, I'm very proud of. Bryce, it was a great game, and you really couldn't ask for a better way to send these seniors out. It, it was a wonderful game, and all, all aspects of the game was working perfectly for Northern on offense, defense, and special teams. And when you have a game like that to end your career, if you're one of the many seniors on the team, then you start to remember that special bond that you have with the sport, your teammates, and your school. For example, the kicker Lau, he's a senior from the UP, and he had a great game on kickoffs. He, did a, he was able to punt, which is usually Peck's responsibility. And he had a great onside kick in the last minute of the first half. And also in the second half, when Indy's special teams started to pick it up a little bit, he was able to light up the Indianapolis return man twice for great solid hits to start off the defense going. And on that defense, uh, a very underrated player in Gothier, he came up and had 16 tackles in this game. Hempel and Nichols were big on the passing game in the second half, and that's just everything that we want in a Wildcat football team. It was a great way to end the season, and the future is looking pretty bright for this football team. It's looking very bright. Just looking at in the offense right now, we're going to have Wallace, Smith, Kopech, and Branchow come back. And that's going to be huge because those are, those are key pieces in your offense that you can build off of. And then on the defense, we are missing Gothier and Yelk in the middle, but we've got Dimitri Stewart coming back, and he's going to have a big season next year. A lot of the secondary is coming back, and our special teams are going to be solid as we got both Belmonte and Peck coming, so we're going to be pretty good in the kicking game. The only place where I see a little bit of an issue is in the lines. has been kind of an issue, especially since we're losing three starters on that offensive line. So we'll see what happens there, but I'm sure that we can make something happen. Should be a great year next year. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll have the amazing story of former NMU hockey player Eric Lamarck, and Sean Kelly will join me to discuss the latest on NMU hockey. Stay with us. Can't get enough of Northern Michigan athletics? Well, you're in luck, because Cat Chat is Northern Michigan University's new television sports show, featuring highlights, recap, analysis, and interviews with all your favorite Wildcat players. Join us Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. on Marquette Channel 20, or follow us online at catchattv.org as we bring you the latest in Wildcat sports. Cat Chat, the UP's number one sports show. <laughs> Hi, I'm Zach Nichols from the Northern Michigan football team, and you're watching Cat Chat. <laughs> 